going on everybody it's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guys and today I'm gonna be going over my base elite Madden 22 running back players these are my predictions of course and of course I mean they're mostly accurate because for the most part it's hard to really mess these up but I'm gonna go over my order the kind of way I think the overalls will end up trending who's gonna be the best who's gonna be the worst of the top eight so these are my top eight there was I believe like 16 or maybe even 17 basically running backs in the past Madden which was Madden 21 but of course, guys, that takes a long time. You guys don't want to know all the base 80s. Really, you guys are only going to care about the top eight. And quite honestly, you mainly care about the top four, right? Only in certain instances are guys like Saquon actually really good for an 82. Usually, you want the best running back or the legend back. But before we get into the video, guys, make sure you down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn that noti bell. Give this video a big thumbs up. And of course, come join the family. That's all I got to say. You know, if you're ready for Madden 22, guys, let's get the channel growing before then. Let's get, you know, keep the momentum going. Now, our base lead back, starting out at number eight. I'm going with Saquon Barkley. Now, Saquon Barkley was around this, I believe, last year as well. I believe he this year will be an 82 overall once again. Now, the reason for that is because he did miss the entire season with injury. And honestly, I got to hope that he doesn't actually get lowered a bit. But I don't think he will. You know, beyond the injury, he is a top two, three back in the league, in my opinion. Talent-wise, he may be the best back in the league off just pure talent. So that is exactly why I think they won't drop him much lower because that would just be that, that would just be a robbery in terms of Saquon. Now again, a day one Saquon is really good. He ends up being one of the faster backs actually with an 84 speed, 85 excel, 85 change of direction with a good juke as well as some decent power for the overall. Saquon Barkley is always a good day one back in terms of elites, even if he's a low overall. Next, we've got Ezekiel Elliott coming in number seven. Now I have him slated for a drop in overall. I believe he'll be an 83 overall because of course he didn't have the best season last year with Dak being out which did show some issues that, of course, when there's not a quarterback and stuff, that Cowboys offense really doesn't move as well without Dak. But, of course, Zeke has an 84 speed as well, 85 excel, 86 agility. Now, in terms of, you know, best back, Zeke, well, wasn't really a day one best back. I mean, he's better than Saquon, but, you know, like, well-rounded wise. But the issue is Saquon was way cheaper. Zeke was really expensive day one, so it's like, of course, I just go Saquon for a cheaper price. But overall, Zeke's going to be a good probably he's gonna be good i don't think he'll be a glitchy day one back because he's never gonna be the fastest always be one of the he's usually one of these slower backs quite honestly always gonna be the problem with zeke day one he's either gonna if he, i mean if he's a cheaper the thing is if he's an 83 overall you have to imagine his speed gets dropped a little bit as well so he's still gonna he's gonna end up being a slower back even if he's cheaper zeke typically isn't that great of a madden card hopefully next year with the way next gen works and the way you know weight is 225 pounds may even be a bit heavier coming into this year or around the same weight again so could be a very good next gen back we have to that remains to be seen but Zeke's still going to be probably a top eight back nonetheless. Next, we have Aaron Jones coming at number, I believe for me, he has number six. Now, Aaron Jones would have been higher on this list, but there's just so many good backs that are in contention for this spot, which is why he's lower. But he had a great season. Aaron Jones, never one of the best day one backs, but I believe he will be an 83 overall again. Again, going to be one of, he's usually one of the slower backs. Again, not slow, but there's always backs with like that high 80 speed. There's always a legend with an 87 or among the base leagues, like an 85, 86. 83 speed again. Super well-rounded back with some power, with some with some shiftiness. A very well-rounded back, but again, well-rounded backs, well-rounded backs aren't bad day one. But people tend to go for that breakaway speed. Next, we got number five, Alvin Kamara. He takes a jump up. He was an 80 overall last year, and I think that's kind of a travesty. Alvin Kamara is like a top two or three back as well, and they kind of did him dirty with the 80 overall. So hopefully, he does go ahead and get this 84 overall, which should knock him up. Now, again, Alvin Kamara typically a really bad Madden back. Uh, they never give him the right stats, but I believe an 84 overall Kamara probably gets an 85 day one speed. Or an 84 which does make him one of the best backs out of the gate with like an 88 acceleration he'll be super quick and uh you know agile as well as getting the 80 juke the change of direction maybe even close to an 80 trucking so he may be he, alvin kamar has potential to be one of the best day one backs if they do his stats right he's 215 he has some weight on him as well could be good next we got nick chubb coming in at number uh four nick chubb is an 86 overall I think this year he comes in at 85, and it's not because that he got any worse. I just think that Dalvin Cook will take a spot above, which you guys will see next. But Nick Chubb, one of the best day one backs as well. 85 speed. The only issue is going to be the change of direction. Now, it really comes down to whether or not change of direction is going to be a big deal next Madden, right? Because from what we saw, everything felt kind of slow, but that was just the beta. If change of direction, you know, swerving is still as good, will hurt. But if it's a, you know, if it's a power year, you know, power year or, you know, big back kind of thing, it's 5'11", 227 with 85 speed. He'll have a high carrying, almost a 90 break tackle out the gate. If you power him up 90, his juke will hit the 80 mile threshold as well as trucking. Dick Chubb one of the better day one backs as well. Next, we got Dalvin Cook, who again, one of the better day one backs because of his change of direction. Uh, Dalvin Cook, if you power him up and chem him up and he gets the 86 spot, like I think he will, he could have an 86 speed out the gate with high excel, high agility, 
He will have high change of direction as well as some spin, juke, break, tackle. He's a very well-rounded back, and he can also catch pretty well to the backfield. Not that he's a good catcher, but just the way he's the way he's built with the change of direction, he makes for a pretty good out of the backfield receiver. In terms of you know, like some guys, sometimes guys like Nick Chubb and Henry feel very stiff out the backfield. Dalvin's pretty good out of the backfield uh, in terms of catching the ball. So Dalvin Cook, another really good one. So far, guys, most of them will be good, but there's gonna always be one of them that's just ahead. There'll be one with the fastest speed. And day when Madden first drops, speed's important. Now, again, this I know this sounds dumb, but later in the year, speed becomes less important because everyone ends up in those 90s. So it really comes down to like catching and all that stuff and route running. But right now, guys, literally, if you go hop into the first week of weekend league, typically the glitchiest, fastest player typically wins weekend league. If you remember Madden 20, Marcus Allen was that glitchy day one back with 88 speed with jukebox no one else had and everyone who had him play his top 100 myself included so typically you know a guy being 87 speed at back and all the, all the defenders in the game are all cornerbacks are low 80 linebackers are high 70 low 80 defensive linemen are all 60 70s pretty much if you have a back that fast he's gonna outrun everyone so it always makes a glitchy first week but then we get the fast corners we get the champ baileys the sanders and as that starts coming guys are able to pretty much track down just about anyone you know not including jukes but that stops a lot of big runs that we, we come to see in the first week Next guy is McCaffrey. I think McCaffrey gets dropped one spot to the 87 spot. Again, because he was injured. Otherwise, he would actually still probably the best back in the game. But McCaffrey, in terms of Madden, if he gets knocked down a spot, he ends up being good because he does get, again, he probably ends up with an 85 speed, high excel, high agility. He ends up with shoot, the best change of direction on the board, the best juke and spin and carrying. The only And he gets a catching and short running. So he's one of the best all do-it-all backs day one with shiftiness. But again, if it is going to be more of a weight and power year, which is potential, uh, potentially possible, as well as going to be a speed kind of time, uh, thing. He won't be the best back in the game, although he's going to be super, super good. I just, I'm scared they might drop a speed one. I'm hoping for an 85, but if they drop it to an 84, again, they'll be a legend back with an 87. That's the thing. For these core leads to compete out the gate, you typically need a fast core lead because, again, there's going to be a legend back out the gate that probably has a plus two speed in all of them, which I hate that they do that because nothing's more frustrating than you get the game day one. It's like, oh, do I buy Christian? Do I buy Derek? Do I buy Cook, Saquon? And once you finally decide, they drop the legend, then it's like, oh, okay, so now these backs aren't nearly as good. But again, nonetheless, moving on to number one, guys, we have Derrick Henry, the king himself. Derrick Henry, day one last year, wasn't at cr that crazy again, because again, trucking and power has not really worked too well in the last year of Madden or so. It works more in franchise, but in terms of the like, ultimate team, like trucking just really doesn't work. It just lets you fall forward for like an extra yard when you truck sometimes, if you get the good animation. Sometimes you just get laid out franchise works a lot better but again he's 247 pounds six foot three if next gen has told us anything is that weight and height actually matter that five foot eight barry sanders won't get more broken tackle animations for some reason than derrick henry so again he could be super glitchy day one powered up and came up i think he gets up to the 88 spot which actually might bring him up to an 86 speed 86 speed plus a power up 87 speed plus 247 six foot three plus 85 trucking 90 stiff arm 86 break tackle derrick henry could run the beginning of madden if they give him the right speed if they give him a plus one speed, I think he has potential, right? Because even if a legend back does drop, you know, they give us like a legend back with an 87 speed base. Even if he's too fast than Derrick Henry, or he ends up being one faster than Derrick Henry, if Derrick Henry has the 90 stiff arm and break tackle in the 90 already off the rip with the power upgrades and the trucking, he's going to be unstoppable. I mean, because the tackling isn't up there. Day one, there's not going to be good enough tackling to tackle Derrick Henry uh, efficiently. You're gonna, he's going to be unstoppable. Freight train, maybe some abilities. I think Derrick Henry could run the beginning of Madden. It really just comes down simply to what legend backs come out and how the game plays again from the beta it's hard to tell i mean again power felt great in the beta i was noticing a lot of broken tackles a lot of you know in running motion just bought like knocking people off because they're strong and they weigh a lot but again once the beta is all said and done will the swerve be better will the juke be better for the time being it is not but that's about it for the video hopefully you guys did enjoy if you are into the channel hit that subscribe button turn that noti bell give this video a big thumbs up of course and of course guys if you need anything any comments down below what back should have been on this list what back shouldn't have been on this list comment it down below thank you so much for watching i'm out See you guys later. Peace.